Our objectives in this lesson are the following. Define proposition, illustrate a proposition, and identify whether a sentence is a proposition or not. Let's have a quick review about types of sentences. Do you still remember this? Read the following sentences and write whether D, declarative, I, interrogative, I am imperative, or E, exclamatory, on the space provided before each number. Number one, it's a girl. This is E, exclamatory. Notice this exclamation point here. Number two, please stand. This is imperative. I am. You are making a command or request. Number three, is one a prime number? This is I, interrogative. This is a question mark. Number four, 13 is an even number. This is a statement. This is D, declarative. Number five, if an integer is even, then its square is also even. This is D, declarative. Now, you might be asking me, why do we need to study types of sentences? Because this is applicable in our today's lesson, the proposition. It is a declarative sentence that is either true or false, but not both. Proposition are usually denoted by small letters. Example, this is read as P is the proposition COVID-19 caused global pandemic. A sequence of propositions may be denoted by P sub 1, P sub 2, P sub 3, and so on. Example, P sub 1 is the proposition, if you tested positive of COVID-19 but you have no symptoms, then you are asymptomatic. You will learn more about sequence of propositions on our next lesson. Let us talk about truth value. If the proposition is true, then its truth value is true, denoted by capital T or 1. If the proposition is false, then its truth value is false, denoted by capital F or 0. Let's have an example. Q is the proposition, the sun rises in the east. This is a declarative sentence. Now, ask yourself, is this true or false? This is true. Therefore, this is a proposition whose truth value is true. Capital T. Proposition do not necessarily require immediate truth value. Example, I will win the lottery tomorrow. This statement is declarative sentence. Although its truth value can only be determined tomorrow after the lottery, but we know that it can either be true or false, but not both. So still, this is a proposition. Let's have an activity. Study the following. Write capital P if it is a proposition and indicate its truth value. Write capital NP if it is not a proposition. These are our examples earlier. Number one, P is the proposition, it's a girl. Is this a proposition or not? This is not a proposition. Why? Because this is an exclamatory sentence, not a declarative sentence. Remember, a proposition is a declarative sentence. Number two, please stand. Is this a proposition? No, this is not a proposition. This is an imperative sentence, not a declarative sentence. Number three, R is the proposition, is one a prime number? You are asking here, so this is not a declarative sentence, but an interrogative sentence. So this is not a proposition. Number four, 13 is an even number. This is a proposition. Now let us determine, is this true or false? Is 13 an even number? False. So, this statement is a proposition whose truth value is false. Number five, if an integer is even, then its square is also even. 
This is a declarative sentence. Now let us determine if this is true or false. If an integer is even, let us say 2, then its square is also even. 2 squared is 4. Let's have another one. Let's say 10. 10 squared is 100, which is also even. In fact, if an integer is even, then its square is also even. So this is a proposition whose truth value is true. Now try this. Study the following. Write capital P if it is a proposition and capital NP if it is not a proposition. So this time I have mathematical statements here. Number one, A is the proposition one times zero is equal to zero. Is this a proposition? Can we convert this into a declarative sentence? Yes, we could. 1 times 0 is equal to 0. This is a declarative sentence. This is a proposition. Number 2. B is the proposition. X plus 3 is greater than 10. Do you know the value of X? You don't. There is nothing mentioned here about the value of x. So meaning, this statement is not clear if true or false. Therefore, this is not a proposition. Number three, c is the proposition 10 minus 5. This is an incomplete statement. We cannot answer this if this is true or false. So this is not a proposition. Next one, D is the proposition, black is the best color of a car. This is a declarative sentence, but beware, because this is a matter of opinion. It is relative. Black may be the best color for you for a car, but not for me. So meaning, it is not an objective truth. So this is not a proposition. Last one, E is the proposition, mango juice is better than apple juice. This is a declarative sentence. However, again, this is relative. It is not an objective truth. It is a matter of taste. What may be good to your taste is not good to me. So this is not a proposition. Let us do extra challenge. Study the following. Write capital P if it is a proposition and indicate its truth value. Write capital NP if it is not a proposition. Number one, if 2 over 3 is a fraction, then it is a rational number. This is a declarative sentence. Now, is this true or false? Two-thirds is a fraction. If it is a fraction, is it a rational number? Yes, it is. So this is a proposition and its truth value is true. Number two, plan your work and work your plan. Is this a proposition or not? This is not a proposition. This is an imperative sentence, so not a proposition. Number three, E is the proposition. I am kidding. This one is a little bit tricky. This is a paradox. It is neither true or false. Why? Because if you will say that this is true, then I am just kidding. I'm just joking. So it means it is not true. If you are going to say that this is false, then I am just telling the truth that I am kidding. Therefore, this is not false because I'm telling the truth. So this statement is neither true or false. This is not a proposition. Number four, F is the proposition, the principal root of cube root of negative 27 is negative 3. This is a declarative sentence. Now let us determine, is this true or false? Cube root of negative 27, principal root, that is negative 3. Remember, if you have an add index and a negative radicand, then the root is a negative number. So this is true. This is a proposition whose truth value is true. Number five, G is the proposition, the negative of absolute value of five is equal to five. The absolute value of five is five, but there is a negative outside, so this should be negative five. This is a proposition, but the truth value is false. For the summary, here are the things that we discuss in this lesson. Take time to read this. 
Now it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Let us answer, study the following. Write capital P if it is a proposition and indicate its truth value. Write capital NP if it is not a proposition. Number 1. M is the proposition. In X minus 1 equals 3, X is equal to 4. Let us solve. If we move negative 1 to the other side, it will become plus 1. So 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So this is a proposition and the truth value is true. Number two, n is the proposition that integer z is an odd number. But is z given? Do you know what's the value of z here? No, you do not know. So, this could be true and this could also be false. So, therefore, this is not a proposition. Number three, o is the proposition if 4 raised to x minus 1 is equal to 16, then x is equal to 3. I hope you still remember our lesson in exponential equation. If we are going to solve for the value of x here, then it is true that x is equal to 3. 3 minus 1 is 2 and 4 is squared is equal to 16. So this is a proposition and the truth value is true. Number 4, P is the proposition, the logarithm of 7 to the 4 to the base 7 is equal to 7. I hope you still remember our lesson in logarithm. If we have the same number and the base, then the answer should be the exponent. So this is false. This is a proposition, but the truth value is false. And last one, Q is the proposition. Did you understand our lesson? If your answer here is not a proposition, then I bet you understand our lesson. Gets? Our next lesson is simple and compound propositions.